Okay, this is a a demonstration video for the Shoutcast 2 configuration builder. I am going to go ahead and uh, go to the Winnet forums. <coughs> Excuse my browser loads. I'm going to uh, run demo for Windows 32-bit SC Serve and SC Trans. Uh, of course. This video will still be able to assist you for setting up just SC serve the DNAS. Okay. Okay, very good. So we can see we've got both SC serve and SC trans installed. <coughs> With this new install, you see that they got the config builder already comes in, uh, comes with it. <coughs> so I'm go ahead and open that up. And we have the config builder. Uh, I need to allow the JavaScript. <coughs> Okay, very good. Alright, so this is a demonstration of a video for Windows install, so we're going to leave this on its default setting for Windows. And uh, since I'm using Windows XP here, I can go ahead and just copy the copy and paste button. If you're on Windows Vista or 7, you'll have to probably type it manually. Um, And if you do have to type up mail, you may make sure you uh, use the correct slash types, these backslashes here, and you don't forget the colon, and preferably make sure you got your capitalization right. I don't think it matters. In fact, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter the capitalization, but it just looks neater and cleaner and uh, easier to read when you follow the capitalization of your, your installation paths. And you can leave these the way they are. Um, we're going to use Shutcast 2. We're going to set up one endpoint though. Alright, here we go. I believe this particular part is uh, <coughs> case sensitive. Not sure. But... Alright, and you can see some help text for selecting, you know, for example, stream genres. You can click right inside the config builder. <coughs> for example, on this one, it has a link to uh, the current genre listings for Shoutcast Broadcasting on the YP. All kinds of goodies. Anyways, right, back to the builder. 
right? And we just do a bunch of standard, just a standard config, <coughs> port 800. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set an admin port, because I usually do anyway. <coughs> and a DJ port and a DJ port 2 just because I feel like it and I'm going to set up dummy passwords for this demonstration configuration which will just be password and admin password now for the transcoder admin port the default setting for uh, the admin username is hard-coded as admin. Um, in the configuration, you can actually change it if you like. Um, but for simplicity and consistency with uh, the old DNAS and, and other things, it, it's hard set to admin. <coughs> if you want to change that, you'll have to manually edit the file. All right, and we'll just leave those the way they are for now. A little customization. These are good. That's good. Playlists in uh, this is a these are SE trans options. Uh, playlists. You can configure multiple playlists to be scheduled via the calendar system. Install with it in the install with the transcoder, and so therefore um, you can install it here. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a one dummy playlist. And this is not, this where I'm entering is not the actual name of the file. It's just a, a symbolic name that the, you uh, specify in the calendar. And let's do dummy list. These files don't actually exist on my, on my computer. It's just, just for demonstration purposes. And I'll go ahead and add it to the calendar. And I'll do one DJ <coughs> with the name of DJ. How novel. Alright. Password. DJ. Password. Again, very novel. Okay. Uh, you got default. So you can see hitting these calendar buttons automatically entered or inserted appropriate events run the map. I'll just leave this the way this is. Right. If you want to uh, <coughs> use SE Trans to use your sound cord or uh, uh, Win32 capable device, audio device, not hard to do with the config builder you just gotta make sure you got the right capture input name and the right capture device name and I see uh, generally yeah, I think in Windows XP it's not hard to find just open the volume control if it ever comes up and it did and for this demonstration video I'm going to go ahead and Use a virtual audio cable. And you can see virtual audio, virtual cable two was the name of it. Virtual cable two. Virtual cable two. And I'm gonna use the line line. Not hard. Okay. If you want to stream with MP3, you will need an MP3 unlock and MP3 name and MP3 unlock code, which is available for roughly five dollars American. Um, you click here. <coughs> That's if you're going to stream with MP3. Um, uh,
when you purchase your key <coughs> you will receive an unlock name and an unlock code and you can enter that here and I'll just do, do a dummy demonstration and some random characters it won't look anywhere near like that oh. gotta be obstinate Okay, and for your auth hash, if you dis if you need if you if you intend to go public, you need an auth hash, and you can obtain that here, which is a direct link to it for and you sign in with your username and password. Oh. Hello, hello. Okay. <clears throat> this is basically a, a new user demonstration account that I'm using for this video. Yeah, there we go. All right, so yeah, you and this is for free. Um, so you, it allows you to register with the new YP2 protocol and the new YP2. And uh, when you get your auth hash. Of course, make sure you whatever you set on your source, whether it be the transcoder or the WinApp DSP, <coughs> or if you're using some other third-party uh, source program for transmitting your source to the 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 new DNS v2 server, that it matches, including your stream URL and your stream genres, is what I understand. Those have to match what you've entered for uh, your new auth hash. So I'll just enter a dummy auth hash here. <coughs> now you can have you can have many endpoints as you want, but for this video I'm going to do one. Uh, but I'm going to show you the four <coughs> temporarily. I'm going to give it dummy auth hash. Just mash the keyboard. Yeah, fun. And it will set each endpoint for the default auth hash unless you override it here. For if you're using more than one source type with different, you know, audio data. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set MP3. For that one, I'll show you here. 